Welcome to Awakened Titans Podcast with Lily Patrescu. Mind-blowing conversations with influential business titans sharing how you can manifest abundance, love, joy, success through quantum awakening, quantum manifestation, quantum healing, quantum miracles, exponential business growth, and innovative products and services. Discover how to become the celebrity in your niche. In today's session with John Hyland, he's the publisher of Top Doctor Magazine with a network of 600,000 doctors. The first question is, what's the secret to your success? Well, that's a that's a great question. I'm, I've been very successful about three times in my life. And I think a lot of it is being prepared and, and having really good people around you, really good mentors and people that have done it before. And when you find somebody that's done it before, it makes life a whole lot easier. Thank you. And how do you become the celebrity in your name? <laughs> well, the way way we do it, we publish Top Doctor Magazine. It's probably the second most influential magazine in medical other than WebMD, if you've ever heard of WebMD, but they've been around forever. We've been around a little over a decade and we've had some of the greatest doctors in the world on our on our magazine. So for your clients, um, I, you know, I tell people, especially if they own a, a business and it's uh, local, let's not talk about national business right now. We'll talk about that in a minute. But if you have a local business, we, we have something and Google actually agrees with us. You have a 49 square mile radius around your business. That's about seven miles out in any way and um, seven to 10 miles. And you want to become the celebrity in that we call it the 12 mile or the seven the 49 mile square mile local celebrity status. And it's pretty easy to do actually, when you when you understand what's happening uh, with, with your market, with Google podcasts, uh, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Thank you. And so tell us your blueprint for how any entrepreneur can become the celebrity in their niche. <laughs> you know, it's really customizable. We, we've had, um, we had our first billionaire on the cover. This is a guy, if you remember, he started Five Hour Energy. Do you remember that company? Have you ever seen Five Hour Energy at the at the convenience stores? And this is Manoj. And um, the what what he did is at one time he was selling thirty times more of that drink than any other drink on the planet, other than water. And they've consistently done about two hundred million dollars in revenues a year. And he he actually told us he wanted to be in the background. Then we put his face on the cover of the magazine. He says, oh, I really like that. And so people people like that. If you can get out in front of people, um, I like I like YouTube shorts. I like podcasts and Instagram and TikTok uh, for folks to become a celebrity. Once a person, a client knows you, likes you and trusts you, they'll do business with you. And they know, like and trust you when they see you on, you know, showing up on a podcast or showing up in an event, uh, showing up on TV or on the radio. It's it's very simple. Thank you. And what uh, experience drove you to become the celebrity in your field? Well, what, what I was very fortunate to do uh, for 15 years was travel around the world speaking to large groups. And um, I was able to speak on the Get Motivated stage, if you've ever, ever heard of that. And um, so I was able to go all throughout Asia, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, uh, America, um, South America doing events and a little bit in the Middle East, which I really enjoy going there. And, and so, you know, one year I'd speak to 300,000 people live and, and it taught me, uh, how you're pre-framed. That's, a, that's a word in, you know, sales pre-framing, how you're pre-framed is a better, is the easier way to become a celebrity. Thank you. And what are the top mistakes entrepreneurs make when wanting to become the celebrity in their niche? The number one mistake they make is not getting out. They're, they 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 need to get out um, as often as humanly possible in front of people, whether it be in a group of 10 people locally or a thousand people on stage or getting on a podcast like yours that goes out to hundreds of thousands of people. Thank you. And what opportunities do you have for entrepreneurs who want to become the go-to celebrity in their niche? Yeah, well, well, one of our people on our team, he 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 did the George Foreman grill, um, the, the Wooby, you know, he's done so many products. 
And when you when you think of George Foreman Grill, for instance, you think of George Foreman, who's a famous boxer or pugilist, whatever you want to call it. If you're in London, you call it a pugilist. But when when you get somebody like that, there's a lot of old athletes. How many people, you know, recognize George Foreman uh, for doing what he does? Or, uh, for instance, we have a dentist, uh, Bill Dorfman, and he did a TV show called extreme makeover. Do you, did you ever see that TV show? Yeah. And so he would fix their teeth and, but he became the celebrity dentist and he's a dentist to celebrities. So that's, that's another way you tie your, you tie your, um, your celebrity to another celebrity, like a uh, famous actress or famous uh, celebrity. And, and that really boosts you, boosts you up. Thank you. Another thing that you've built is uh, such a massive network of 600,000 doctors. And what do you feel were the top um, things that helped you get there? Well, first of all, we've never done a negative article. So, you know, we're not the guys that are going to expose some bad medicine doctor, right? So we we always do positive doctor. We always do positive articles. Um, we we let the other people, you know, criticize and and be the be the be the people that, that do that. And I I don't. I don't know how much your audience knows about SEO, but that's kind of an old term, search engine optimization. It's been replaced with a new term called DOSEP, which is direct, and they might, if they're taking notes, they might want to take notes on this. It's called direct organic search engine optimization. So what we what we actually did was we hijack the doctor's social media pages. So every time you see Dr. Shiner, who's probably the best plastic surgeon in the world, um, in Tampa, Florida, every time you see him um, and he puts something out with with Top Doctor Magazine on, it just makes Top Doctor Magazine. So he's he's in Tampa. This this lady is a Moroccan oil lady. She's in Morocco. And so when 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 she puts this out, I just featured on Top Doctor Magazine. Then what happens is Google sees Top Doctor Magazine in Morocco and sees it in Tampa and then you know, I have another. I have another doctor here in Singapore, Doctor Zhu. He's he. If you ever do stem cell banking or anything, he's the guy that put all the technology behind it. So then he's in Singapore, and this is how you get your word out, and we become very powerful. So we actually hijack the social media pages of the doctors we put on the cover, or the or the entrepreneurs we put on the cover. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. And what about building such a massive network? Uh, because I mean, I think speaking uh, powerfully is a big part of it, I'm sure. But also there has to be some other elements that you know, like you know so much about marketing. What do you feel were the most important marketing tips that you used in order to build such a massive network? You know, my best offering, um, and we, we always try to repeat this, but right right now we're in, we're in the middle of semaglutide and trizipatide. I don't know, they're the number one weight loss medications in, in the world right now, right? But my best offering ever was 10 million online in 10 weeks of a nutraceutical. So if you have a product and you get and, uh, and you get enough um, exposure to that product, you can do $10 million in sales in 10 weeks. And, and well, I'll, I'll tell you, Lily, when you do $10 million in sales in 10 weeks, your life changes. It just instantly changes. There's nothing like seeing your merchant account report to you at we had it reports on a system called Limelight uh, at 11:45 at night, and I've been married for 35 years now to the same woman. She's beautiful, great girl, right? But there's nothing like at 11:45 getting a merchant account statement from Limelight that tells you you did a quarter million dollars in business that day, you know, it's or you had 4,000 orders that day, and that that's that's where that's where it's fun. That's that's how you build a network, and people think, well, I'm just selling, I'm just selling you know, a uh, diet pill, or I'm, I'm selling um, a, a new uh, teeth whitening process or whatever, whatever it is. But do you know, even after you sell those folks, um, the list is worth a lot of money. So you get, you get money for a MasterCard list, you get money for an American Express list. Um, a good list broker will, if you ever want to do this, will, will pay you $7 per, for an American Express client. They'll pay a buck 50 for Visa or MasterCard. It's it's just incredible. And then the lesson I learned was, well, John, why didn't you sell 100 million in 100 weeks then? Well, what happened, I was new to the game back then. And what happened was my merchant account 
didn't keep up with my business. So I had a $5 million. You actually get a credit limit on a merchant account. I had a $5 million limit through Chase and we did 10 million. And then that was the end of the, that was the end of the run. So be careful of that, of that process. It was interesting though, when we did that, we didn't have exclusivity on that product. So what happened also was I walked into Sam's club and into Walmart and there's my product just labeled differently. Um, for, for a lot less than I was selling it for online at that time. So there's three three real quick things that people can do. Make sure your merchant account's good. Make sure you have exclusivity if you can. Sometimes you can't, but if you can, um, you know, that's that's the best thing. And then get get the exposure, get the people, uh, get it through emails. We We typically talk to our doctors through emails and webinars is how we talk to them. And that's how we've been able to build a, a great network. We do a webinar every Sunday and Wednesday, and we've done it for years. Thank you. What are some of the best marketing strategies that you've used? Yeah. So what I was saying was w when you have a chance, um, I I like to get out in front of audiences. I like, uh, you can speak one-to-one -one or you can speak one-to-many. And I like doing podcasts. I like doing stuff like this because you're speaking to many people at once. Does, does that make sense? Yes. You also mentioned that publishing a book and telling your story and as many stages as possible is also an, a critical step. Can you tell us more about that? How many stages have you spoken in front of and how many people? Um, I was averaging about, a. have I've spoken on every major stage in the world, I've spoken to 100,000 people a year on average for 15 years. So 1.5 million people live, but so many more online. When during COVID, you know, we, we, there were no, there were no events. We, you know, we, we do a doctor event, Lily, and it's in Las Vegas at, at, at the Venetian and there's 6,000 doctors there. Well, obviously during COVID that didn't happen. So what we did, we went online and we have another company that offers um, continuing education credits for doctors. So we just did CE for them. We did free CE and we got in front of millions of doctors. We literally had 2 million views during COVID uh, just for doctors alone. Is that, is that awesome or what? So you can always adjust and adapt. Wow. The, book, the book's important too. If um, I see your book in the background, if you, if you get a book, it's incredible to have a book and say, Hey, can, did, did you see my book and put your thoughts down in writing? Cause good writers are usually good speakers too. And then if you can't do a book, do the magazine, because we can get you in the magazine and um, it takes 45 minutes to do an interview and a professional will write your interview, four or five page interview, and that should lead to your book or to your podcast or, your, or to your um, uh, TikTok or, or Instagram or, or um, you know, YouTube. The, the best doctors in the world are on YouTube and, and it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tell us a bit more about the case studies you've had and what results they've had uh, because they were featured in your magazine or because they were able to email your network of 600,000 doctors and um, about your uh, brand uh, launches and product launches that you've done in collaboration with the magazine. Yeah. The reason why Five Hour Energy picked us to launch their new True Hydration brand is because doctors recommend things, right? They recommend you should do this or that, or take this pill or do that. And so one of our great launches was Leo, the salt room guy. So if you've ever been in a salt room, it's incredible what happens to you when you get in a salt room. And if you have asthma, like I do, getting in a salt room um, will clean, clean your lungs out. And so you're breathing better than you've ever breathed in your life. A lot of folks come to us if they have a product. This is um, our Moroccan oil lady. And what happens is, she actually um, gets her Moroccan oil from farm to to your to your house. I can't even tell you her age, but she's over fifty. You would never know if you, she doesn't have a wrinkle on her face because she's always always done that. And then what we what we really like to do this is Dr. Carter, and um, he was one of our most popular covers one year. <laughs> you could see why I think. But um, we we have we have a lot of fun. We also do collaborations. So. This is the year of collaboration, not comp comp competition. So this is our muscle and fitness. You've heard of them. They've had over a billion views. This is Rob Fletcher with Muscle and Fitness uh, magazine. So we do a we have a lot of trainers in our in, in our magazine that write for us, and you know just specialty people. 
in our business, we say face, sex, hair, and diet. So if you can hit one of those things, um, then you can sell in our magazine. And we, we've we sold probably a billion dollars worth of stuff out of the magazine, just because when you get in our magazine, um, you go out to your targeted market. If you're selling a financial product, for instance, who has more money other than doctors? Half of them are very wealthy. Wow. Very good. And I think you mentioned as well that uh, when... Yeah. And think about it. Um, a plastic surgeon, his his surgeries can go as low as five thousand, but their their wheelhouse is thirty to forty to fifty thousand dollars, right? So it's real hard to to sell somebody um, a fifty thousand dollars surgery without showing, for instance, uh, before and afters. Good oh. news is about having a magazine, you could tell your story on a high end sale like implant dentistry or cosmetic dentistry or plastic surgeons. And, and it really, um, it, it, it allows the patient or your customer to read about you and then know you and like you, and then they trust you because they see the it's time for you to put your testimonials in, put before and after pictures in, tell where you are, show your facilities, the whole nine yards and nothing does it like a book or a magazine. Yes. And the other thing I really liked about your magazine is that you can also be featured. You can have like an advert or something or advertorial, right? For if you're, if you have a company of a, something that's not necessarily a doctor company, right? That's right. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. exactly right. So we have ads. Um, we, we also do guest articles, which is really good for financial people. Coaches do really good. Our doctors are stressed. I, I, I'm pretty sure you realize that, but it's, they are stressed out. Um, a, a typical doctor, if you if you want to know my market, uh, marries his honey in college. She helps put him through college, or she he helps her go through college. They have three kids. She gets a little frumpy, maybe a little adds a little weight, and some nurse is telling him, "Oh, doctor, you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. You're you're like God to me, right?" So he leaves his first wife, ends up with her. Or the wife leaves her husband and ends up with a guy. He marries the nurse and then they don't have the life they're expecting. So then he ends up with the love of his life. And so three incomes later, three houses later, you know, they they start and then then they want to leave a legacy. And what, what's, what's great about being a doctor, if you do it right, the average doctor in America makes $208,000 a year in, in America. So there's 1.3 million doctors in America, about 300,000 are in some kind of um, retirement mode, right? So you have a million active doctors in America. The other thing that's happening in America right now is the nurse practitioners. And they, they make, they make on average between 80 and $180,000 a year. And they pretty much run our healthcare system now. Um, so you have a massive audience of people that have money that in America, we have nurse practitioners and PAs, um, physician assistants, and they do a lot of the work uh, the, a lot of the work in the medical business and they make good money. They make between 80 and $180,000 a year. Mm -hmm. So they have money, they have disposable income for self-improvement. So, I mean, I love everything you're doing because um, it fits so much with what I'm doing because when you become the celebrity in your niche, it's uh, so much easier to attract business. It's so much easier to attract the right people to you. And you're just having so much more fun and you're just making more money and you're respected more. You have higher status. And even I think you look at yourself in a different way. Would you agree there? Especially when you're around people of high quality, um, people, remember, it, it's not all about the money, but rich people, their kids go to better schools. And so you might as well hang around near them and learn from them. And hopefully you, you're a sponge and you pick up, you know, what they're saying and, and yeah. do what they do. Wow. That was so insightful. And I'm so grateful for your time. Um, and I really believe that whoever um, wants to become a celebrity in their niche, they should talk to you and go to yeah. magazine.com to find out more information. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next episode. Okay. Thanks, Lily. Bye-bye. Follow us for more interviews with world's most influential business titans, providing you with the insights to awaken to your full potential so you can get paid to be yourself, find true happiness, and manifest anything you desire. 